right? You got to prove these people to know what if they're keeping God's commandments, right? Listen good. Come on. Sirach chapter 6. Come on. The book of Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. Come on. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. What's the Bible say? Prove him first. So God says you got to prove a friend, but you just can't lay down with anybody. Right. You can't just make anybody your boyfriend. You shouldn't even have that to begin with. Y'all should be companions, friends. That don't mean y'all live together. You understand? That means you have conversations before you make such of a commitment. And then before you make that commitment, you get some paperwork on that. You get it sealed officially, stamped. Right. All of that good stuff. All right, you, you buy into it. Have some skin in the game, right? We can't just give it out for free. Right, right? who gonna pay for it? Who gonna take care of it after that? That man should, because God says that he has to, right? But you control that, sister. You control who, who, who you lay down with. You control that. But you can't make somebody marry you, right? You can't do that. You can't make somebody. The man is going to control that. He's going to be the one to say, yeah, I think, you know, I'm going to marry this sister, right? He controls that, but you can control who you lay down with. Ain't no man gonna rape you. And if they do, you need to call the police. That's right. Immediately. All right? You need to scream and yell and cry. All right? Don't call after that happened. And you ain't say a word. Right? Don't do that. Was that it? Read the next verse. Come on. If thou was to get a friend, prove him first. And be not hasty to credit him. So you don't want to be hasty to credit somebody. To tell them, yeah, that's... That's my boyfriend, you hasty the credit. That's my girl, you hasty the credit. All right? You saying that they can have access to the most precious thing that I have that God gave me to bring forth life, all right? And I'm just gonna give it up to a boyfriend, a girlfriend. That stuff don't even make sense. It's not found in the Bible at all. Come on. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. What's that mean? Some man is a friend for his own occasion. Yeah, some man is your friend for his own occasion, for his own reasons, right? Sometimes people will become your friend because it's something that they want from you. You know what I'm talking about? You done seen that before. I'm sure with man and woman in your life, they your friend only so that they can, it's something they need from you, something they're trying to get from you, right? Well, that's what a boyfriend and a girlfriend is. It's no different. That's for your own occasion. Right? I want to make you my girlfriend, not my wife. I want to make you my girlfriend. Right? Come on. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. And then what happens? Y'all break up? And then what? All your business is out there. Right? He can tell everybody how good it was, how Jeez. good it won't. You understand? I, hey, I'm just talk, talking out of the Bible. Yes. Majority men do that, but not all men do that. No, nah, not all men, but you said majority do. Yeah. All right, we talking about the majority right now, not the small exception. We ain't talking about them. We talking about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's out here whoring their sisters out. Most of them. All right? Most of the black, Hispanics, Native Americans, the sisters out here, that's willing to give it up for a movie. Give it up for a dinner, all right? Give it up after three months. You think you did something. Oh, I made them wait three months. I made them wait six months. Now, God said you need to make him wait until he make you his wife. Right. That's what God say. Right, so we're not talking about that small exception. We're talking about the general population of our people, all right, that's breaking these commandments left and right. And we bringing forth generations to do the same thing. Break God's commandments left and right. Right? Read that verse again. And there is a friend who being turned to enmity. Now I don't want to deal with you no more. Right? I don't really, we need to, it ain't working out. That's what we say. I think I need space. It's not you, it's me. Right? You heard all of this stuff before. Right? Come on. And strife. And now, now y'all at odds. Right? You trying to delete to change your phone number. He trying to change his phone. You don't want nobody to know where you stay. You move. 
Right? You know what I'm talking about? Maybe not right now, but I'm sure you've seen this. How long you been on the earth? You gotta tell me. More than 30 years, right? So you've seen some things. Come on. We'll discover thy reproach. He tell everybody about what's in your house. All right, how you cook, if you can cook at all. You understand? Say it again. Nah, but they didn't eat your food, though. All right, so they know. You ain't got to tell them. <laughs> you understand? You ain't got to tell them nothing. You didn't gave it all up already. He know what's inside. He know how it fit. All, all of that. And you give that up to a boyfriend? Not you personally, but this is what we do as a people. We give it up to a boyfriend? We got to be more wiser than that. We got to have more sense than that. All right, was that it? All right, from there, go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. All right? 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. You're reading the Bible, sister, or you're listening to the Bible that we're reading, all right? These are the words of God, all right? We're just teaching you out of the book. That's all we're doing. we the messengers right now. Yeah, what you got? I have a Bible. I read it all right. But I don't read it like I should, but I read it. All right. When you when you read it, you need to be focusing on the commandments. What you what God says you must do. And what God says that you can't do no more. You gotta stop immediately. Focus on those things. The Lord's gonna increase your spirit, give you understanding and from his from from wisdom. And he's gonna give you wisdom, you're gonna increase in your understanding. Alright, come on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So God says the unrighteous is not going to get the kingdom. That's what we were talking about at first, right? How do you get the kingdom of God? Well, you must keep God's commandments in order to get the kingdom. All right? Come on. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. So now all of this list of people ain't going to get God's kingdom. Ain't gonna get the kingdom of heaven, right? Come on. Nor idolaters, nor adulterers. Adulterers ain't gonna get the kingdom of heaven. Boyfriend and girlfriend is what? Adultery, right? Come on. Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. That's a man that walk around looking like a woman, acting like a woman. You understand? That's a fit. He maybe he not dressing like a woman yet, right? But you can already see the woman on him. Right? Before he done done anything. That's a spirit. That's a demon. That's a spirit that's on him. All right? That's what that is. We got to repent from that. That's right. All right? Only the Bible can remove that type of spirit. You had spirits on people in the Bible for years. When you read about the daughter that's grievously vexed with a devil or got this issue of blood for 12 years, you're reading about demons that's on people. All right, that only can be removed by Christ and the spirit of Christ. Right. The only thing can relieve, all right, these different spirits that cleave to you. Through what? Breaking God's commandments. Adultery, that's a spirit. You don't even realize it. You got an evil spirit on you when you're in the midst of adultery. You got to repent from that. All right, come on. No abusers of themselves with mankind. Don't abuse yourself with mankind. All right, don't do that. You know what that is today? When you abuse yourself with mankind? That's when you have, uh, you're a woman, right? And let's say you want to marry another woman. That's evil. You t that's, that's not how God created you to, to operate. That's not how your body poses a function. What two women gonna do together? Huh, they gonna make a baby? Nah, what, what pleasure they gonna get? Nothing. You understand? That's nasty. Don't make no. That's a. That's that's abusing yourself with mankind. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. All of that. That's what it comes from. That's the root of it. We can't roll like that today. All right. You know what? How you also can abuse yourself with mankind? Uh, pornography. You know what that is? That's a. That's a. That's a, that's abusive right there. You understand? Uh, uh, what's that lead to? You not needing a man. You not needing a woman. Right? Come on. No thieves. No covetous. No
no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Next verse. And such were some of you. God says this is how we used to be before we learned this. Right? So everything, the person that you used to be before you learned all of these things we're teaching you today, as you move forward, you can't continue. You can't continue in that. You understand? You can't continue being a homer. Can't continue in adultery. Can't continue with the boyfriend. All right? Can't continue uh, 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 knowing what you need to do to get yourself right and not doing it. Right. You can't continue in those things. Right? You, you used to be like that, but you're not like that no more. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.